I really want to know who the fuck thought it would be a great idea to hire Charlie D'Amelio for the cosmetic part of the game. What is this? No, like, I'm being serious. Why the fuck does the Virginia skin, I know it's been out for a while, but I, I really just wanted to ignore it. But the fact they added salt to the wound with this ugly ass sissy skin that makes her look like a cave woman from the prehistorical times, along with basically looks like her sunflower dress, it, it, it's not funny, Gun. What the fuck is this? Like, is our bully studio being held at gunpoint to make shitty skins, or are they actually doing this on purpose? Like, I'm sorry to say this, but you must be hella retarded to think these skins are high effort quality. They are literally reskins of something that existed. I do not care if Virginia or her other cosmetic brings in accessory. I'm not gonna waste five bucks for some stupid wristbands. And I know damn well people wanted a Virginia skin for so long considering she's a high-picked character because of how fun her kid is and I really feel disappointed not only for myself but those people who wanted a Virginia skin for so long just to get disappointed with basically the same skin but the shoulders are more exposed and the pants are rolled up and now she is wearing more accessory. Like what? I mean you can call me a loser for complaining about this but this is literally buying a fake golden watch on AliExpress or Tamu, literally. And I want to support developers because I'm willing to waste money so they can fund the game further and update it further. Because the only way to make money hungry devs realize that people want the game to stay alive and updated is by giving them money. But I don't want to waste it on skins that look like Temu garbage. To every person that unironically says to Gun that they're doing a good job with the skin department, baller zipping up their pants after you're done. Because I really hope you contract an STD from doing so because this is pathetic. Also, I didn't only make this video to complain about the two shitty skins I got revealed, but keep in note that the Rush Week Johnny skin actually got confirmed to be a cosmetic only for Rush Week, which is... What is it with the poor money lending mistakes? Holy shit. Like, is there a competition where asymmetrical horror developers are supposed to act as retarded as possible, or am I missing something? Because this is not funny. Like, I've targeted Gun themselves already in my rant videos, I've targeted Testronic Labs twice, and now I'm actually aiming to Art Bully Studios as well. Th this is just getting ridiculous. But the thing is with Art Bully Studios, they're extremely well known for doing a good job, so I do kind of think that they're under a restriction, so I can kind of let them slip by compared to Gun themselves and Testronic Labs, because fuck Testronic Labs. But holy shit, imagine hiring one of the best third-party cosmetic creators just to use them like condoms second-hand degree used condoms gun are you retarded like i get the licensing stuff and like the lore accurate or like 90s 70s kind of vibe to cosmetics but there's no way you're gonna charge us five bucks for rolled up pants and making sissy look like a caveman now, I know this is kinda a meeting and kinda a meeting only about what I can say and it's also optional whether I wanna do it or not, but I find it crazy that I ju just have to keep returning to these kind of videos because of how retarded Wes Keltner is with his company working on a masterpiece of a license of a game. Well, I'm not kidding. I do not need your respect gun, I really don't, and I'll never ask for it, but I find it absurdly crazy. I do not make these videos because I hate you guys, but I make these videos because of how stupid and slow you are with the game, like, how are you treating a masterpiece of a license so shit? It's, it's baffling. You guys made the choice to update the game once a month and it looks like you guys are aiming for a window at the end of each month. Now that choice has been digged in my mind and I've accepted it. This also means we have to wait a month for cosmetics. But you cannot convince me that it takes a month to make these cosmetics. You really cannot convince a baby with Down syndrome even. You cannot. Also for every doofus that tells me that Dingus, Cotton Pass and Rush Week are coming out as well. Yeah, but if you're smart enough, you know what's behind the marketing strategy of this. There's a reason why the Cotton Pass releases with Rush Week first. It's because people are gonna cop the pass so they can get early access to Rush Week for the four days they have decided to choose. So people are gonna buy the Cotton Pass to get Rush Week first. It's a genius marketing strategy from Guns End, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out what. Now the reason why I'm also dragging the Compton Pass in it is because we are getting 4 free cosmetics with it. Now the Sissy and Virginia cosmetic are confirmed by Gun themselves not to be 
any content pass related skin so don't worry about two skins going to waste already on your dear content pass but this does kind of make me nervous considering if these are the skins we're getting every once a month i do not want to get the same lackey shitty quality skins on the content pass with that being said, I'm going to end the video here. Whether you agree or disagree with my takes or not, I really could not care right now, because somebody's gotta tell them that this is not quality cosmetics. This is not something that takes a month. You, you can suck them off all you want, but I really hope you contract an STD from doing so. Handle our bully studios better, please, and thank you in advance. Thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.